Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Benita. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. <laughs> I really appreciate all of you. As you can see from the title of the video, today I'm going to be speaking about how to love yourself. Now, you might have asked yourself this question at one point in time, or maybe you haven't and you will in the future. But if you're like me, then <laughs> you probably have. Um, I think that a lot of women, young and old, have struggled with this question and a lot of men too. So learning to love yourself can be really difficult at times because, you know, we're human, we're not perfect. Um, we make a lot of mistakes and sometimes we battle with ourselves. We, we battle with who we are, what we look like, um, and we wish that we could be something different. I have three tips that I would like to share with you today that I use myself. Um, and let me tell you, it's a never ending process. Um, if you've reached the point where you have achieved the goal of complete self love, then please let me know how you've done it and how you did it down below. I think we'd all have to learn from each other. Um, but if you haven't and you still struggle with this, then Hopefully these tips will point you in the right direction and will give you the motivation that you need and the encouragement that you need to learn how to love yourself. So the first tip I have for you today is stop comparing yourself to others. This one is really important and this is something that we do intentionally and sometimes unintentionally. You know, sometimes you can be just watching a movie and you see your favorite actress and you think, oh, wow, she has such beautiful hair. Um, my hair doesn't look like that. If only my hair looked like that, then I think I would love myself more I, or I would look better or feel a bit more confident. Or maybe you're going to school and you have this classmate that you sit next to and she just has the perfect body, in your opinion. And maybe you've been struggling with your weight. And so you compare yourself to that person thinking, wow, if only I looked like that, if only I could eat whatever I want and not pick up weight, then I would be so much happier, you know, or I would have more attention or the guy that I like would actually look my way. Constantly comparing yourself to other people is not going to get you anywhere because we are all made differently. We all look different. We all have certain characteristics or traits or looks um, that someone else wishes that they could have, right? But that's what makes us unique because we're all different. And when you start comparing yourself negatively um, against what someone has, then automatically you're going to start feeling bad about yourself. This is a saying that says comparison is a thief of joy and that is so true you will never be happy if you're constantly living your life comparing yourself to the girl next door or to your favorite celebrity because you're you and they're them stop comparing yourself to other people the only person you should be competing with in this life is yourself the second tip on my list is be kind to yourself do you know how many times we criticize ourselves unknowingly? How many times we just say things to put ourselves down? And sometimes we don't even realize the effect that words actually have on us mentally. Um, an example would be, this is something that I do and I have done, where maybe I look in the mirror and I'm wearing this really nice outfit and I find something that looks wrong to me maybe my stomach looks big in that outfit and i'll say wow like my stomach really looks bad in this outfit i wish it was flatter or man if only my arms could be thinner then i would look much better Ugh, i don't like my arms or i don't like my nose the worst one is you look so ugly today this is not good this is really, really not good. Um, words are so powerful. 
and words have the power to change the way you feel about yourself so i think it's important for us to take the time you know and look in the mirror and say you know what you're beautiful find something that you like about yourself uh, maybe that's more realistic um because i know we don't feel beautiful every day right so find something that you like about yourself for example maybe you like your eyes look in the mirror and compliment yourself and say you have beautiful eyes and that automatically lifts the mood that automatically gives you something to to like about yourself and that small act of kindness towards yourself can change your whole day and can make you feel more confident and can teach you how to love yourself more when you feel yourself starting to enter into that negative space again because it can happen we have our good and bad days bring yourself out of that find words of encouragement find words that can inspire you that can make you smile but after some time you're going to start believing what you're actually telling yourself the third and final tip that i have for you today is find ways to improve and to grow i noticed that when i started to get into fitness and started exercising i started to like the way that i looked more and that led to me feeling more confident um, so sometimes all it takes is finding a new skill or a new hobby, whether it's jogging or cooking or taking vocal classes or learning how to paint, um, just learning something that gives you that excitement. I promise you that once you start taking on a new hobby, you will start to find some things to love about yourself maybe you didn't realize that you actually had a beautiful voice and now you start taking um, singing classes and you start to realize that wow you're really talented and you're going to start to fall in love with your voice and what your voice can do and in turn people are going to start falling in love with your voice too because you're going to start sharing that gift with other people so learning a new skill is really really important um also it's important for us to realize that we all make mistakes have you ever made a mistake and you just felt like the worst person on this earth because you felt like what you did was so bad we all make mistakes but it's important for us to not dwell in that gutter because the longer we stay there the longer we're going to start feeling bad about ourselves and then the whole spiraling effect begins so it's okay to get up dust yourself off learn from your mistakes and try to do better whether it's from unhealthy relationships or life in general let's learn from the mistakes that we have made and let's find ways to do better and to improve and in turn that will help us to grow and when we grow we tend to look back on all the changes that we have made and that leads to self-love growth is self-love there are so many other tips that i could share with you today but i don't want to make this video too long these are the three things that have really helped me and continue to help me and hopefully they will help you too i know that it is not always easy to love yourself for who you are but you are special and you deserve to love yourself you cannot expect other people to love you if you cannot love yourself first i have made some other videos that relate to growth and self-improvement and they're kind of related to this topic I would love for you to check them out if you have the time i will link those videos down below and also please do leave your comments and like this video and subscribe i would really appreciate it if you join the family thank you so much for watching today's video remember to keep loving yourself and i'll see you in the next one bye for now